The article in question that you're actually reading here is from a web website that I recently stumbled upon called Feminist Current. And this is an article po posted by an Arthur uh, Allison Gray, which is entitled, You've heard of rape culture, but have you heard of pedophile culture? This is honestly the first time I've seen something to this ridiculous scale. It is full of steaming bullshit from the oven of a pseudo bakery. Now, okay, my girlfriend here is going to be reading the article piece by piece, and I'm going to interrupt briefly to get to get my two cents on it. Okay, so, um, I got the article right there, so, this article, this is what it says right here. You've heard of rape culture, but have you heard of pedophile culture? No, I honestly haven't heard of pedophile culture up until this point. Please explain it to me, Allison. Okay. Now, where it says right there, it says, I'm a pedophile, but not a monster. I'm attracted to children, but unwilling to act on it. Before judging me harshly, will, would you be willing to listen? Okay, like, this actually kind of makes sense. Like, you have, uh, if you have an attraction to children, but you don't act on it, then there's no problem, right? No, I don't think it's a problem at all. Alright, now, this is what it says right there. Dear Todd Nickerson, over at Salon a few days ago, you wrote an article provoking me entitled, I'm a pedophile, but not a monster. Presumably, a lot of people are now asking questions such as, is pedophilia natural, or can pedoph pedophilia be cured? Okay, right here. There has been, like, yeah, there has been quite a few debates, and asking, like, is pedophilia a natural thing, can it be cured? Implying the fact that it could very well be a mental illness, or is or it's a crime. Like, personally, I consider it a class A felony. Like, quite a few normal people would probably, at least I would assume. Keep this, okay, I want you guys to keep this in mind, as this will be sort of mentioned later. But, pedophilia is frowned upon by society at large. Yeah, but I'm not going to attempt to answer those particular questions. Rather, I'd like to further this discourse by filling, some in, some, filling in some major holes in your article. Pretty funny how you pretty much propose the idea of filling in some major holes in his article, but refuse to answer the questions because I don't think you can answer those questions. At least, honestly. Oh. Let's start with this missing piece. In vast majority of pedophiles are men. And the majority of children victimized by those pedophiles who do chose to act on their sexual desires are girls. This is a rather ma major detail to to withhold from your audience. When you is it a major... Is it... Is it really a major detail being withheld to label pretty much every male on this planet as pedophiles? Let's not even be coy here, oh, Allison. We all know when you say the mass majority, you mean every male is a pedophile waiting to enact his sexual desires on adolescent females. Says it's not all men are pedophiles, women are. I'm seeing feminist propaganda and male hatred already. And we're only two paragraphs into the article. <sighs> Unfortunately, as per per 
pervasive and overt as patriarchy is, it is usually the last detail mentioned in conversations of this nature, if it is mentioned at all. The reason it's hardly ever mentioned, if mentioned at all, is because we know that patriarchy is a dead horse and that we don't live in one. Even by standard dictionary definition, heck, even by feminist dictionary, defi I made up de de ah, if I can talk, made up definition of patriarchy, we do not live in one. Yeah, there may be patriarchy over in third world countries, but why aren't you even so much as addressing it, other than giving lip service? That said, pedophilia may seem taboo, taboo and despised by the masses. Stop me there. That's because pedophilia is despised by the masses. But an honest appraisal of our, our culture at large reveals otherwise. I pro propose that pedophilia is actually rewarded and celebrated. And that Citation, please. Who the fuck is rewarding and celebrating pedophilia? <sighs> Nobody. Nobody celebrated pedophilia. No. And that our entire culture and understanding of sexuality is constructed around what seem to be pedophilic desires. I call this pedophile culture. Oh, some made-up term by fe by feminists to add to the feminist dictionary to let me attack on men. In pedophile culture, women are ex expected to maintain a near impossible level of thinness. Re um, worse. Still talking about pedophilia, right? Because it seems to me that this paragraph belongs into belongs in a uh, bad acceptance article. Yeah. Prepubescent in their almost intragenous lack of curvature and body fat due to this procedure, eating disorders. Abund in young girls and women in particular are targeted throughout their lives by a multi billion dollar weight loss industry. What does weight yeah. loss have to do with this article? Nothing. This this seems more fat acceptance rather than pedophilia. This has nothing to do with that. Stay on topic. <clears throat> in pedophile culture, the top porn hub category is teen. Barely legal girls in schoolgirl outfits play out everything, from virgin man man manipulation, daddy daughter, incest fantasies, teacher student make believe, you name it. There's porn for it, and it's been whacked off to millions and millions and millions of times. It's fair to wonder whether the only thing keeping some of these viewers from watching straight up child porn is age of cons. Consent, mm, consent Bullshit! Complete fucking bollocks! <sighs> Teen porn usually consists of women who are like 18 or 19. Barely legal is very close to 18. Either almost 18 by a few days or like a few months after. Girls in schoolgirl outfits are usually played by adult women who dress up as schoolgirls. Usually in college, and daddy daughter are adult females who have sex with their fathers, and teacher students, again, college adult males with adult females. How the fuck is this in any way evidence of being pedophile? Yeah, that is bullshit. Yeah, it is. Influence and in consent laws addressing that. In some states, its age of consent is actually 16. Look at the fuck up. Google it. Also, age of consent in Japan is 13. Yeah. Fuck. <sighs> so stupid. Influenced by the porn industry, 
labiaplasty, a surgery that carves the labia mi minor down to porn sized slivers, is rapidly gaining popularity. So are the other procedures, like hymenoplasty, hymen which restores virgin like tightness to women's vag vaginas. You gonna provide any kind of uh, citation that this is influenced by the porn industry? Maybe, uh, maybe someone who was raped, but apes don't want to, don't want it to show, or they want to hide a rape, but whatever reason. I kind of doubt this was influenced by the porn industry. I think you're just using that statement as, as to attack the porn industry, because I've seen countless attacks against the porn industry. In pedophile culture. Women are outright procedured to regularly shave or wax their neither reg regions and underarms. The cosmetics industry, again, targeted at women. Petals, anti-aging creams, and lotions that will make our skin baby soft. So, let me get this straight. Older women's insecurities about their appearance is somehow tied to pedophilia? What are you trying to do? Like you're you're trying to classify literally every woman on earth as a child to make men out to be pedophiles? Cause I would not be surprised at this point. In pedophile culture, we casually refer to grown women as girls. We have a word specifically for attractive female teenagers. Jailbait. Women are sexualized as chicks, kittens, and babes. Who are the real misogynists here? And fucking hell, are you fucking kidding me? Teenage women are jail baits? Oh what my god! The fuck! Oh, fuck me, running. I thought I heard it all from feminists. <sighs> jail bait. Fuck you, Allison. You are the only one referring to teenage women as jail baits. Fuck off, and to top feminists. it all off, the term chicks have existed for women and girls throughout history. Okay, babe is a pet name for the boyfriend and girlfriend. Only, not only that, I have not heard the term kittens as any way sexualizing any kind of women or girls. In fact, none of those three sexualize women and girls. No. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, you bitch. In pedophile culture, I often catch men in public checking me out with eyes, full of lust, until they see the hair on my legs, at which point they res resort to the theater theatrical display of disgust. Uh, I, I would think that's a natural response, as a ton of body hair isn't attractive to the opposite sex. Trust me, I know this. Yeah. Also, okay, do you really think that all men pay attention to a woman's legs? Aren't you generalizing a bit too much here by trying to say that men just care about a woman's legs, or men just care about a woman's chest, or men just care about the women's vagina? No, not everything is about a woman's vagina. Nobody. <sighs> I've eavesdropped on groups of college-age guys talking about how they won't perform oral sex on a woman if her labia are too permanent. One man who had been pursuing sex with me for three years suddenly changed his, changed his mind when I revealed that I do not and will not shave off my pubic hair. In other words, many men stopped, be stopped being attracted to me when reminded that I am a woman and not a young girl. Am I sensing some confirmation bias in that paragraph? Okay, and there's a bit of irony here. Yeah. When it, when it, when it comes to you eavesdropping on college age guys, what are the common age for college guys? 18 or over. Yeah, and 18 and over. 9.5 times out of 10. They're talking about adult women. 
discussing their preferences. What, are we suddenly not allowed to discuss our preferences, you fucking lying cunt? He's a liar. And the last thing, thing what she said is this. Surely all, all of, surely all of these men who have a preferen preference for the, for the, um, aforementioned qualifications qualities in women aren't pedophiles by the strict definition of the word but if they're not pedophiles by the strict definition they're not that they're not fucking pedophiles now are they no they're not you bitch oh, God. but it seems that a hot it seems that a higher num high number of men likely as a result result of deep cultural conditioning Find many of the same things attracted in a woman that a pedophile would find attracted in a in a girl child. Small Citation, bias. Citation, fucking needed, Allison. Yes, citation needed. Small labia, tight vaginas, <laughs> intact diamonds, baby soft skin, hairless limbs, and vulvas. In internal youthfulness, tiny frail bodies, as tum as Tumblr user readdressed re Delaware wrote, how do we not recognize that this is instantly, instantly a description of a baby or a toddler? This is too dumb, this is too dumb to comment on, cause I still... <laughs> What do I even say? What do I even say to this? Yeah, I have no comment on that. No, I really don't. Anyway, that that's technically the be murder of the baby or toddler. <sighs> okay, that's all she says right there. And now this person what it says here. Back to my okay. Back to my original. I think it's her. All right, back to my original point. I need you and your sympathetic readers to understand this grave you truth. Pedophilia is not nearly as taboo or shameful or repulsive, repulsive to society as you claim it is. Bullets. It Bullets. is repulsive and shameful to society at large. And anyone is caught being a pedophile, they are instantly imprisoned. Heck. Here's something. Here's a news page of something that happened very fucking recently that proves you wrong. That pedophilia is something taken very seriously by society at large. Oh my god. Wall the clip. I'm sure you're in child. Breaking at noon, the school teacher who allegedly got pregnant by a 13 year old student surrendered this morning in Conroe. Alexandria Vera, a 24 year old Stovall Middle School teacher, is in custody. Her bail set at $100,000. Authorities say she had sex with her eighth grade English student and then got pregnant. That boy is now 14. According to court documents, Vera says she and the boy love each other and had sex daily for almost nine months. Classmates describe Vera as the cool teacher. They tell us she would even let kids use phones in class. Her neighbors, who want to remain anonymous, say they saw her and the victim together almost every day and at times accompanied by other young boys. She was having a lot of kids in her home and there was drinking in the front. So we always find beer bottles and beer cans on our side of the lawn, so, and half of them did not look older than, what, high school maybe? Then it tells investigators that the boy's family was accepting of the, of the relationship and even invited her to family gatherings. She claims when she became pregnant in January, the boy's family was very supportive and excited. She says when CPS showed up at the school to question her, she got nervous and terminated the baby. She has been on administrative leave since last month and the district is in the process of terminating her. What's that you were saying about pedophilia being repulsive to society at large? I 
Also, there's gonna be uh, also there's gonna be in the in the down bar a link full of co a, a link full of comments to people who also find pedophilia distasteful. So I recommend you read those individual comments. Yes, I wish it was much too uh, much too the. Uh, sorry, if you guys, if I can't pronounce the words, detriment, words. Detriment, uh, detriment of females the world over. Your desires are reflected back to you in infinitely. Uh, Bass pr produce uh, produce on a glo global scale to meet an ever growing demand. This male supreme supremacy world welcomes you with open arms and your every wish it's his command i dare you say you are sick ever to be yourself then girls are so by your so, so what you're saying here is men are just automatically safe therefore have no agency but when it comes to women they are constantly at. They are constantly in danger of like sexual predators or what the fuck ever. And when you say male supremacists, you mean the MRAs, don't you? Because you, I have, you have no idea how many times I've heard an MRA being a male supremacist movement, kind of like the KKK is a white supremacist movement. You say I'm a pedophile, but not a monster. And I heart, wholeheartedly agree with you. You are not a monster. You're a man, a rather common man. A microcosmic rep representation of patriarchy's most prevalent, prevalent provisions. You are not. So basically, you are saying, okay, that's a contradictory statement. You are saying that he's not a monster, but rather he's a man. Part of patriarchy's perversions. You are saying he is a monster. Yeah. You are not special. You are not anor anonymous. You are not alone. Not even close. Your sexual orientation is just another man. Manifestation of collective desire of males to sub 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 subjugate ma females in a crusade to uphold male supremacy at all costs. If I male supremacy, you mean actually, actually trying to discuss male issues, then yeah. Also, the only reason that you are, are that you are co even considering heterosexuality as a collective as a collective desire of males is because you think of all men as collective, not individuals themselves. The individual fucking actions of fucking men does not reflect all men as a whole. Ah, it's like for, exa like for example, like. The the Elliot the Elliot Roger incident. He is just one individual who committed a mass shooting because of his insecurities. He is not in any fucking way, shape, or fucking form a fucking reflective ass. Any and all fucking male across the entire fucking world. So stop fucking treating fucking men as fucking collectors, you fucking cunt. So if being under standing and supportive of your pedophilia entails grooming males to erotic eroticize childlike features in women and teaching women to maintain eternal youth as not to aggravate male insecure insecurities then you are not a then you are not asking for our support you are asking for for our submission, and just bullshit. Yeah, Complete bullshit. Right here, pedophilia entails grooming males to eroticize childlike features in women. Wait, so you're saying that a female 
eradicating her own insecurities. Is this meant to avoid aggravating male insecurities? Are you this fucking retarded? <sighs> no, really, are you retarded, bitch? Okay, th this might as well be a rhetorical question, because I know you are not going to answer this. <sighs> oh, hell no, you're not. This is not asking for anybody's fucking submission to counteract insecurities, you fucking moron! And just as you say, there are no, there are no ethical way we can fully actualize our sexual, lo uh, sexual mm, longings. There are, there is no ethical way to re request cooperation fr from those of us actively trying to dismantle the patriarchal system that your orientation represents. And that's all she has, all she has to say in this article. So she spat out a bunch of bullshit propaganda pushing by ending with a bunch of bullshit that's saying our orientation represents a patriarchal system. Okay. You can't dismantle something that does not exist in the West. It's something that has not existed in the West for decades, or even maybe centuries. You cannot prove that patriarchy exists. All you are using it for, and don't even try to say you're not using it, because we all know you are using it to blame men for all your problems, even the tiniest of problems. Okay, well, that's... That was the article, as I said. So, probably some of you just talked about, um, you know, as the video that we mentioned here, we had roll the clip here, is a, um, a pedophile here that we're going to talk about. A female pedophile who was a middle school teacher. <sighs> anyway, yeah, my, my arms are pretty tired from shoveling that bullshit. I know I said that we'll, um, that we were talking about Lacey Green's video, but this came up and that can make kind of give her two cents on it. Anyway, well, Allison Green, go fuck yourself. Your article is just pure, utter 